Let's take a few minutes today to talk about event logs and how important event logs are to understanding what our IT environment is doing. You know, event logs are everywhere within our lives, everywhere. In fact, that check engine light that comes on your vehicle is a form of an event log. It's logging events that are occurring on your vehicle so that when you arrive at the mechanics shop, they'll be able to plug in their computer and see exactly what's going on with your car. And then they can implement whatever needed repairs are. Now, this is an interesting concept, these event logs. They really manage everything that's electronic within our lives generally produces some form of an event log. Now, event logs can tell us information uh, based on codes. So typically, you'll have some sort of code, 2222 for a server, for example, may be a login failed or whatever the event is. And there are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of events within our environment. So let's take a look at a couple examples here uh, within our environment. So let's say here we have a server. And within that server, we have events that are occurring. Now remember, those events may be, um, and, they're, and they're written to what we call event logs. Now, these events within the servers may be the hardware itself or the operating system, perhaps applications within the environment. All of these are events that occur within the environment that tell us the status, the operational and the security status of this server. Now, when you start thinking about that, all of these events could become very, very difficult to manage. And so when we have multiple events coming from hardware, software, server, storage, things of that nature, we add to the mix what we call a log aggregator. Now, for some environments, security environments, for example, this is often referred to as a SIM. Now, SIM does many other functions as well, but it aggregates logs. And based on policy and process, it's going to collect, as you can see here, multiple logs within our environment. So it's going to collect these logs, and then based on algorithms, process, and policy that we've established, we're going to get maybe a single log out of it. Again, there'll be event codes in there and reference points so we know the information that's coming from here but we can take and reduce the size of the information from a lot of information to a little bit of information kind of like finding the needle in the haystack some of these log aggregators and sim products you may be familiar with today are products like Splunk or ArcSight certainly no endorsement of those products but they're, they're leaders in the industry and I have experience with them. Both of them work exceptionally well. And there are many, many products in the marketplace that do log aggregation. So what does this really mean? So we have event logs that capture event codes, a collection of codes. Because we have multiple event logs within an environment, lots and lots of lines of events, we're aggregating those in what we call log aggregators. And that allows us to truly find that needle that's buried within that haystack. We want to get rid of the noise, the hay, right? And just find that gem of information or the needle in this example. So that's really event logs. So let's take it one step further and talk a little bit about false positives and how to make event logs actionable within your environment. And let's use another example here. Let's say that you are home and you're, you're securing your home for the evening. Now you've gone and gone ahead and locked your windows, you've, you've locked your door, you've set your alarm, your home is secure. You go to sleep. Now all of a sudden, of course, it's always right after you've fallen into your deep sleep, the dogs start barking. Okay, and you, you kind of just brush it off thinking maybe there's a cat or maybe the wind spooked them or something. You wake up in the morning and you find around the windows, there's footprints, suspicious footprints. You look at the door and somebody's trying to take a crowbar to the deadbolt. The dog's barking, the suspicious footprints, and the crowbar marks on the door all equal. Something may be happening. Some threat may, may have been real at your home last night. And this is the way it is with cyber. Unfortunately, our minds see those three events and we calculate, hey, there's an increased risk. 
We don't take just the dog's barking or just the footsteps or just the crowbar. We take all three of them into account and we process it internally, hopefully, uh, that, we're, that there may be a threat to our home. Maybe a burglar was trying to get in. Now, with computers, we give it instructions and we have to tell the computer event A plus event B equals event C. And event C equals this action. This isn't easy work has to be done strategically and thought through. But once it's done, then the machine can actually take control of that. There are many products in the marketplace that do artificial intelligence or machine learning to help aid in this type of intelligence to build you those algorithms needed to truly run your environments and to secure your environments optimally. Event logs are part of our lives. Everything from our washer machines and our vehicles to how we're planning our trip to Mars. All of the event logs make a difference in our lives and your understanding of an event log will help you have the conversations necessary in order to secure and operate your environments.